Welcome everyone. This is a brief tutorial about how to sync and manage your songs, uh, perhaps a collection of uh, tracks that you have, and to um, copy them to your iPhone, or your iPad, and how to manage them via iTunes, as that's the primary way that Apple devices communicate. Uh, you'll find that it's actually pretty easy. And for this sake, uh, we're going to be using an iPad with iOS 12. Um, since, of course, they both run the same operating system, which is iOS, uh, we'll use an iPad. And with iTunes, we're using uh, iTunes version number 12. So what's open on the screen here is the main screen to iTunes. And right now, as we take a look um, under music, uh, there's nothing here. We would see some songs or albums, it's blank. It's saying go to the iTunes store and get music because there's nothing in here. Well, first let's understand that what happens to the music when you put it into iTunes. Um, first, let's take a look at the desktop and realize that we have just a small collection of music here. Um, the, this is some music that I've purchased from um, Amazon. It was, I think, with some free tracks with an offer. Uh, th these are just uh, some classic songs here, some classical music. And we'll be using this as a uh, demonstration here. So the first thing that you need to understand is when you move the files into iTunes, what happens to it? I want to show you um, an option that iTunes presents, and then it's up to you on how you want to select it and to manage it. I have my own preference, and I'll tell you why. Uh, you'll find uh, the preferences area. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be under iTunes, and then you go to preferences. If you're on a Windows computer, uh, preferences will actually be in the edit menu at the very bottom. It'll say preferences and you'll open it up and it'll have the exact same dialogue and same interface. Here's the main section where you can organize your preferences with iTunes. The very last option says advanced and this is where it's going to give you some really good information. You'll notice on top it's basically saying where do you want all of your media to be stored on your computer? and it gives you the path or the exact folder structure of where to find this. You can change it, you can customize it if you want it to be in a certain location. You'll find that with both Mac and with Windows, it will always default to the music location of your computer, and then it generates an iTunes folder and an iTunes media folder as well. But here's the main thing that, that I like uh, keeping checked. One is keeping the iTunes media folder organized meaning that if you go into iTunes later and modify an artist name or a track or a title and you modify those, it will dynamically adjust the file folder structure that you've maintained uh, automatically. You won't need to go in and to readjust, well, this track goes in this folder because it's this part of the album. It automatically does it for you. That's really handy. But here's the most important thing, and this is why I, I like this box checked. It says copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. So let's uh, take a look at that for a moment. If this was not checked and I went and I went into my music collection and I selected it all and I dragged into iTunes and I let go, the files will actually still stay on the desktop. They, and, and they will reside there. If by chance you decide to delete this folder of music or wherever it might be, iTunes won't know where it is. Obviously, it's been deleted and it will cause some problems for you. The reason why I like this preference of copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library is when we do this, it's going to create a duplicate um, or actually duplicate files with all of these tracks that we're adding in, meaning after we're done, this music folder can just be tossed in the trash or the recycle area. And it will be dynamically put into this area as we're talking about. So let's go ahead and, and give this a try. So with these options selected, we're fine with that. Let's click OK. We have these um, files that I've selected. And we could go into uh, file, this is add to library, but 
as everyone's accustomed to, dragging and dropping is fantastic. Uh, it's really easy. You have to have both windows open and you select all the files that you want, either by doing this or doing uh, Command or Control A for selecting all. You just uh, click all of them. In this case, 16, you could have a thousand, and that's absolutely fine. And you drag it into this area here under music. Notice here again, we're under the music area. We could be under movies. Uh, make sure it's under library, meaning this is your personal library. These other areas are um, iTunes related. This is to purchase music. This is to have internet radio but we're under library and music. So let's go ahead and drag and drop these files. We're gonna let go. And it just did it. See right now we're under the artist area. And if we look at all artists, we'll notice that here's all the information that we have with all the songs. They've actually been copied over. They're not moved, they're copied. So now we have actually two versions of these things on our computer. We can look at it by album or by song. I typically like it in this uh, format where we can actually uh, see all the songs and all of the good information here. And so now they're actually in the uh, iTunes program. One little trick to make sure that you know that it was copied and not moved. If you take a track and you right click on it, It'll be in both Windows and the Mac version of iTunes. And you say show in Finder, or in Windows it should say show in uh, in a window or in, or in a separate screen. When you click on that, you'll actually take a look. And with this view, you can actually see the uh, file folder structure that was created. So here, let's go ahead and take a look under Music. We now have an iTunes folder. We have iTunes media. We have music, various artists, and then Hayden symphonies, which is the classical music. And here's all of the files. So this is in my music collection, my, my music area where it's stored. And there's the path and there's where all the songs are. But then notice I still have my music folder on my desktop and it is still there. So now what I could actually do is I could just delete this because I'm not going to need it. It's been copied and uh, saved to the iTunes uh, file folder structure. So I can just get rid of that now. So now in iTunes, I already have my iPad open and connected. So now what we're going to do is we are going to sync. Basically, all that means is we are going to copy the information from here to the iPad. So you'll notice this little icon. It looks like a tablet. If you're using an iPhone, it'll be, it'll be more narrow because obviously iPhones have more of a narrow shape. You click on there and you'll actually see uh, all this good information about your, um, your device, your iPhone or your iPad. Specifically, what we're going to be looking at is here in this column, music, because that's what we're focusing on. If we click on music here, this is unchecked. This is important to look at. We need to check this. So sync essentially means copy or keep them both on the same page, as it were. If we click on that, it says 16 songs are selected. You can select the entire music library, or if you wanted just specific um, genres, specific artists, obviously you would have a larger um, collection here. If you had five artists and you wanted just to have two of them on your iPad, you can individually check those, but this is very simple. There's only one artist, one album. So we'll just do entire music library. And then once we hit apply, Notice on top, it says syncing iPad. At first it backs up. This is a very quick process because there's not much on this tablet right now. And there's only gonna be 16 tracks copied over. It was pretty quick. Uh, you would have to catch exactly what all of it's saying. It's actually 
helpful information about the status, but it's been done. So now what we can do is we can actually look at the iPad. So now on your screen, you're actually seeing uh, the iPad and what uh, is currently um, on here. Right now, it's just uh, a default screen. On the bottom, uh, of course, the music uh, app is the same on, again, iPhone or iPad. If we tap on there, on the bottom, we'll notice that it says recently added. And then there's our information. We'll tap on uh, the album, and there it is. We can shuffle it, play it, etc. It will look in a more um, compact uh, format on an iPhone. But there it is. We can uh, play it. We can... Um, pause it, fast forward, shuffle, and it's going to be there. And just like you saw in iTunes, you can view it by playlist, album, artist, etc. And so you can start building your collection. One little myth that people have is, well, iTunes is horrible because I have to purchase songs uh, through them. The answer is absolutely not. You can purchase it um, through Amazon, uh, Google, uh, of course, Apple. And you can actually take your entire collection of CDs and make them into audio files, which is for another time to, to talk about. But that's a good summary of what we've um, learned. Hopefully it's been helpful and uh, educational. Um, if you appreciate this video, uh, please subscribe. I'll be having more videos in the future. Uh, in the description, there's also a link uh, to Amazon, which helps support uh, my channel, as well as to... Uh, Patreon where you can uh, donate if you wish. Thanks so much for watching.